Okay, guys, as promised, we're back in the world of Babilis, and we will be comparing the FX1 trimmer here in matte black, the FX Plus trimmer here in gold, the Snap FX trimmer here in shiny black, and the Boost FX trimmer here in red. Now, at the time of this video, the Boost FX and the Snap FX are no longer available for purchase on the Babilis website, so they are phasing them out. We're going to focus mainly on the FX1 and the FX Plus. Now, a quick overview for everyone that doesn't want to stick around. They both have the same motor. The main difference with these machines is for the FX1, you have the hair pocket door to clean out. You have this little indentation for a better ergonomic grip. You have the FX1 battery ecosystem to use with different machines that is interchangeable. And for the FX Plus, it charges USB-C and traditional plug and has a bigger battery with longer run time. So we'll go from top to bottom and we're gonna start with the blade. With the FX1 matte black, this particular machine comes with the graphite 2.0 blade. Nothing special, nothing we haven't seen before. The FX1 matte black Clipper comes with the new metal injection molded blade. I was kind of upset to see that they didn't have a metal injection molded blade for the trimmer. And I wasn't even sure they could do it, but they just announced the Babilis 245 collab, the Babilis T45, which has a metal injection molded trimmer blade with oil reservoirs, and all that good stuff. So as soon as I get my hands on that, I'll make a separate video. For now, covering the blades, this comes with the Graphite 2.0 blade, and I have to do a separate video that covers Babylon's blades and what makes all of them different. In a nutshell, real quick, it comes down to a couple different things. How deep the teeth are, the coating of the blade, whether it's graphite, gold FX, which is a titanium, or a DLC, which is a diamond-like carbon. So, moving on from the FX1, let's talk about the FX Plus. This particular version, the gold one, comes with the titanium gold, and titanium can come in different colors. Stationary blade, deep teeth, and with the DLC cutting blade. The Snap FX version that I have comes with the DLC 2.0 blades. The Boost FX, they have a ton of different Boost FX. This particular one came with the gold. I just so happen to have the graphite on there right now. Moving on, let's talk about the motor. Now, the FX1 comes with the new N1 brushless motor. This has dual ball bearings, which helps balance out the rotations of the motor, it helps it run more efficiently, helps it not work as hard, and that also adds to more battery life, and it's just overall a better motor. The FX Plus comes with the same motor, N1 brushless motor. For the motor with the snap effects, and the Boost FX, when they announced this motor, this was just the higher speed, higher torque motor. And that's pretty much all they said. While they all don't have the same motor, they do run at the same RPMs, and I'm going to test that for you right now. FX1. Seventy-one eighty-six. We'll round that up to 7,200, and it always amazes me how Babilis manages to keep all their machines the same RPM. FX Plus. Seventy two hundred. Snap FX. Seventy eight two hundred. Boost FX. Seventy two hundred. Okay, now we'll cover the battery real quick. Now the FX one has an interchangeable battery, one battery that works with the whole FX one ecosystem. If you have the FX one clipper, trimmer, stick shaver, the low pro clipper, the low pro trimmer, it all works with the same battery. And they also have a dual battery charging stand, which you could connect multiple charging stands to each other and have a whole bunch of batteries charging at the same time now one thing i will say with this battery is that i'm not crazy about the way it gets shoved in 
it like stops once, twice on the way in. And I'm not sure how this spring release will hold up over time. I can see myself pressing that and it not going out. Also, you know, lining up the arrows, it has to be right. And even when you line it up, I feel like it doesn't go in smooth. Also, to charge this battery, if you look on it, there is nowhere to charge it. And there is nowhere to charge it with the machine as well. You need the charging stand. The charging stand charges traditional plug and USB-C. And again, you have to line up the arrow with the arrow for the charge. It will pulsate blue. It has a four quarter indicator ring. When one is not illuminated, that means you're at about 75%. When it is almost completely depleted, it will blink red. Now I might add, if you are having a problem charging this battery, you have to make sure these contacts are out far enough for it to connect to the battery. So with that being said, how much life does this battery give you? This gives you a runtime of three hours. The FX Plus has a bigger battery in it. This gives you a runtime of four hours. The Snap FX has two batteries you can get for it. The one that it comes with has a blue ring, as you see. They don't tell you how much this will get you, but it's the same capacity as the FX1 battery, so figure this will get you about three hours of runtime. They have a battery available that gets you 30% more, they say. And this is the one with the green ring, and the one with the green ring will get you about four hours. Boost FX has a battery same capacity as the FX Plus, and this will get you four hours of runtime. Okay, now let's cover the body of these machines. Now right away you see the FX1 is the shortest one of them all. The FX Plus and the Boost are about the same size. The Snap FX is the longest one, and why does this matter? This matters for, you know, those no-neck dudes. You know, you don't have as much clearance if you you know, taping somebody up, skinning something out in the back, the back of this machine is going to be hitting their shoulders or their neck. So you don't have as much clearance with the Snap FX. Now, the only one that has this ergonomic bump out for your finger to rest while you're uh, cutting is the FX1. The rest of them are rounded out and don't have that rest. The only ones that have the hair pocket door is the FX1 and the Snap FX. The Boost FX was the first one with the rubber grips. You can find the rubber grips on the FX1. You just have to hunt around. I believe it's the blue or the red version when you buy the tool only with the FX1 where you could get the rubber grips. Let's move on. We'll just weigh these machines real quick and then we'll test the sound. FX1 trimmer with the battery in it, 8.6 ounces. FX Plus, 8.5 ounces. Snap FX with the battery in it, 8.4 ounces. Boost FX, 8.5 ounces. So not much difference. Now let's check the sound. FX1. Eighty decibels. FX plus. Seventy nine decibels. Snap FX. Eighty five decibels. Boost FX. Eighty two decibels. Okay, so how much did these machines cost? So at the time of this video, the full retail for FX1 trimmer with the battery and all the accessories is $209.99. You can buy this machine as the tool only, which is a little bit cheaper. The FX Plus is $184.99. The Snap FX and the Boost, I wouldn't pay a lot for these because you could get good deals on these. And I would definitely pick the Snap FX over the Boost. Look around, you'll see some deals. So 
what comes with these machines? Pretty much with all these machines, the same stuff comes. You get the oil, the zero gap tool, extra cam follower, the screwdriver with FX1. You do get the charging stand for the battery and the USB cord and the plug, which is USB. What bothers me the most is that you pay the premium and you don't get a charging stand for the machine. Drives me crazy. FX Plus, same accessories. The Snap FX does come with the charging stand, which doubles as a stand for the machine as well. The Boost FX has plenty of combos that come with the charging stand as well. So that's the gist of it. Now, I'm going to reluctantly take all these machines apart just to see what the inside looks like, to show you guys, to see if we can find anything that we didn't know of. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we finally have it inside the FX1. Looks somewhat similar to the Snap FX. So here you have it FX1. FX Plus, Snap FX, and the Boost FX. So what they all look like. I'll go one by one. And I highly do not recommend you taking apart any babyless trimmers because they are tricky. Even look, I got this thing free hanging. I don't have to put this thing back together, but this is it. The shaft looks the same on all of them. FX Plus. Has this little extra thing for the USB C. Snap FX. And last but not least, the Boost FX. See how quiet this is, this machine is? It's the rattle and the blaze. I have to figure out how to make that quieter. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this. And now I have to reassemble these machines. So hopefully this helps out with your purchase and my final thoughts. You know, if the FX1 came with metal injection molded blades, then I would say go with the FX1 because it would have oil reservoirs and everything like that. Those don't have them. You know, you might, you almost might as well go with the classic FX Plus. You know, you got the new motor and a big battery and USB-C charging. You don't have to worry about some interchangeable battery system. You'll probably have the machine longer because they abandoned that Snap FX way too quick. So it's hard to trust them again with the interchangeable battery system. But it is easy to trust them with the machine that already made them successful just with a couple enhancements but it's up to you you could get a great deal on that snap fx too i love the snap fx so up to you guys at the end of the day but i hope this video helped you till next time bob's lounge like subscribe peace